I am just shaking my head over this one. You know how Florida's count for COVID has skyrocketed so high lately? Well, listen to this. I think Texas is too, but Florida's I've heard. Anyway, let me just get on with this. This is from Natural News. This was written by Ethan Huff, July the 24th. Science fraud, and then he has a colon, Florida Governor DeSantis calls for investigation into why people are testing positive for coronavirus tests they never received. Yep. After learn, and this is from Natural News. After learning that waves of people who were never even tested for the Wuhan coronavirus or COVID nineteen. Received, I love how they throw this on Wuhan when it started out here and got taken over there and then uh, whatever, whatever. You can't believe hardly a thing they say. And they do that on purpose. All right, it, it, anyway. After learning that waves of people who were never even tested for the virus received mysterious positive Results. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a Republican, decided to call for an investigation, and that's blue in blue, so I guess that's a link. You could read into that, into the matter, to get to the bottom of it. According to reports, Governor DeSantis has asked the state's Department of Health to look into the situation further. He announced that it makes no sense whatsoever that people who were never even evaluated by a practitioner are now receiving an anomalous positive test results that are being used by some to push for more lockdowns in mask wearing. Hmm... Who do you think is behind that? Gee, I don't have any idea who would do such a thing. Moving on. Quote, For that to come back positive when there was no specimen submitted is problematic. Unquote. DeSantis is quoted as saying, Quote, so I've heard it enough to be concerned about it, unquote. As we recently reported, and that's blue, so you can look into that. Many of Florida's testing laboratories have been submitting boatloads of false positives to the official government databases which has majority or majorly skewed the state's infection statistics let me check my i have to get my face closer can't hardly see but anyway at least i have glasses that stay on even if i can't read real good I could blow this up. Let me try that. I forget to do it. Zoom in. Okay, that helps. Yeah, these have a scratch in them too. That's another reason I got new ones. But anyway, moving on. All right. Majorly skewed. Okay, now it appears as though people who were never even tested are being told Possibly at random, that at random, possibly at random, 
Now that doesn't make sense. That they have the coronavirus, which further skews the official statistics and makes it seem as though spikes of infection are occurring when they are actually not. Hmm. Quote, I asked the Department of Health to look at that because I heard it too, unquote. DeSantis added about these strange anomalies. Quote, if you can give us, if people that have told you that are willing to provide their name, we're interested in investigating this because it's ridiculous, unquote. Honey, this is beyond ridiculous. This is fraudulent. This is beyond ridiculous. You know what I mean? They want to spike the numbers up to keep people in fear so they'll wear their masks and keep their distances. And if they can start this in one state and get away with it, they'll try another state and then another and then another. And the next thing you know, we're all on lockdown again. Because the numbers are so high and people haven't even been tested. The official coronavirus narrative is collapsing like a house of cards. Yeah, Jesus told me their plans will backfire on them. This may be one of them. Local Florida News affiliate Fox 35 News has confirmed that many people are reporting similar occurrences in their families. People all across the Sunshine State say that they are testing positive for the Wuhan coronavirus COVID-19 when they never even got tested. And now they are demanding answers. Well, I would too. How does someone test positive for coronavirus if they have never been tested? That's a quote. The news outlet asks, quote, Reports of this happening have been pouring into Fox 35 News since we began investigating COVID-19 data, unquote. Well, how long ago was that? Did you start reporting or investigating? No date given so far. What appears to be happening in some instances is that people show up to get tested, fill out a form, but leave before ever getting tested because the lines are too long. Later on down the road, these same folks receive notifications by email or by phone that they tested positive even though they never even got tested. If you're somebody that this has happened to, you're going to come forward and give us the details because I think that this needs to be corrected, says Governor DeSantis. And I'm wondering if this has happened anywhere else. And if it happened to you, wouldn't you just go ahead and call I mean, wouldn't there be a number on the form that you get on the letter in the mail? Uh, since you tested positive, you need to call such and such a number or call your doctor or something. So, whoever's keeping track of the numbers. I mean, I would. I would think everybody would report that. Anyway, moving on, it says, if you're somebody, oh wait, I said that part. As of this writing, Florida supposedly has some 369,834 positive cases of the coronavirus. Though this number is now being called into question, by these new revelations, oh, that's 
that was the end of it. I mean, though this number is now being called into question by these new revelations. How many people truly have the virus when some labs are reporting 100% positive test results? How much money do you think they're being paid to make the results positive? I'm asking. For instance, or when people who were never tested are being told that they tested positive. Okay, I broke up the sentence by my, my question, but you get the point. The world may never know the full answer to this question, though hopefully DeSantis' investigation will uncover why this is all happening and what the motive is behind it. Now, don't you think our governors are pretty high up? in the game of it all, you know what I'm talking about? The powers that be? Do you think there's any governors that are not part of it? That's a high, that's a high up position to be governor of a state. Anyway, moving on. We've seen suppressed negatives egregious double counting, fake positives, and conflation of dying with COVID as opposed to dying of COVID, wrote one Brightheart News commenter highlighting the many sham elements associated with the pandemic. <laughs> He wrote that, wrote one Brightheart News commenter highlighting the many sham elements associated with the pandemic. Then to top it off, tortured interpretations of the data, tainted as it is to maximize, and now it says, quote, get Trump. Unquote. To get Trump. Tainted as it is to maximize. Get Trump. And that's in caps. Get Trump. Now, what is that? A new statement now they're yelling out? Get Trump. Oh, this has a cuss word. I'll just say the nice version. Lies, darned lies, and statistics brought to you by, wait for it, the experts, which is in quotes, and that whole thing is in quotes. This same commenter added more of the latest on the coronavirus pandemic is available at pandemic.news. Sources for this article include Breitbart. Wasn't he on Fox News? Breitbart. B-R-E-I-T-B-A-R-T dot com and naturalnews.com Previous corporate giants Amazon, Apple, Google, and Walmart all donating millions to domestic terrorism organization Black Lives Matter. Oh, oh, Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Casper, <coughs> dial it down a notch. <coughs> it's okay, baby. Come here. 
Oh my goodness, something scared him. All right, that's that looks like the end of it. Uh, yeah, that's it for this article. I mean, can you believe it? Did they not think that people would get the letter knowing they weren't tested and then do something about it? Did they not think that people weren't going to tell? I mean, if it was one or two or ten maybe, but thousands? We're looking at thousands is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I can understand you get in line to be tested, and then the line is so long, and it's taking so long that you just, you know, here, forget it, I'll do it another time, or whatever, you don't go back at all. Some people just wanted to know, because this is such a scary thing, and I don't want to give it to my kids, so I'm going to go find out if I got it, because I've been around people that have been sneezing. I mean, really... Okay, well, I'm ending this one here, and I'll put the links and the information for this article in the description box so you can read it if you want or look it up and look at those links that I mentioned. Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I love you all. God bless you all. I will talk to you later.